Hi guys and welcome back to episode 40 of the raid series. In the previous episode, we tried to hit up streets a little bit. We had a bit of success and then uh, what else did we do? We did another map. Why can't I think of it? Oh, we did reserve, which we actually did have success on. So in this episode, I want to go into lighthouse. I want to try and tackle some of those lighthouse tasks and uh, potentially go to a shoreline raid. We'll see how we go. Hopefully nothing too horrific will happen to us during that time, but we've got a little bit of money up now so we can actually get stuff done. So without further ado, Let's crack straight into it. All right, so um, we got a bit of money up. We had a bit of money up. What did we do to spend the money? Either way, uh, we have now a Bitcoin. So we can cash in that Bitcoin. We will sell that. Um, please sell. Ready to get rid of some of this stuff. Might just be better to vendor that. Mm, Pro kill's worth a little bit. All right, so the objective is going to be going to Lighthouse and try and mark everything we can. Some scopes also a lot more. Uh, there. There. So, need to set daily still. The way I want to do lighthouse as well is I just want to pretty much like stay clear of the water treatment. We're not going to be doing three reserves. I want to take clear of the water trim and let other um, people do their thing. And then we'll come in and do all the marking at the end. Eliminate scouts from a distance more than 80 meters. It's possible. Okay, so with Lighthouse. Oh, we're a bear, aren't we? Oh, are you say Okay, cool. With Lighthouse. Broadcast. So we need the operating room key. Corporate secrets. Don't need a key for that. Long rows says kill scouts along the road. Briefcases on the waterfront. Energy crosses. So four markers. Lost contact. Uh, it's just go to the chalets. So that makes eight markers. Also, the operating room requires hammer or jammer? Mm, jammer. We need a jammer. Eight markers. That was energy crosses. Vision. Yep. Yeah. That's just to go to a spot. Nine markers. Kill rogues. And kill scaps. So nine markers, a jammer. Five. Eight. Let's use the euros. Eight. And then we also need a jam jam mechanic. Jam, jam. All right, gear-wise, let's just use this one. We have a helmet. Nope. Contacts. Nope. Here's a small backpack. All right, now gun-wise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, jammer. Also want to buy some more fuel so we can keep the Bitcoin farm cranking. It's got 21 hours. It's a Bitcoin farm take right now. 37. Yeah. So two lots of fuel would be what? Three, 340K? And Bitcoin makes 480K right now, so. And you get more than one Bitcoin out of two fuel. So it works out in our favor in the end. We could just DVL, but I'd rather be suppressed. Do we have Shooter Born in Heaven? I think we do. Do. Um, 
Is it hard to convert it? Do we have the parts? It's the barrel. Can't get the bipod. No, that might work. Nope. Oh, it's pretty expensive. All right, we won't do that. Um. We could just use the AK-101. It's not for good for killing rogues though. If we go up against rogues, we won't be able to kill them. So we need something with a bit more punch than that. RFB, good work. RFB. I think someone's butchered that and taken everything off it. Here to go. Ooh, how much is that suppressor going to set? Uh, 60k is not too bad. All right. Now we just need whatever salt we want to use. We need something a bit more rangy. I don't know if we've got any sitting here. Yep, that'll do. Couple more mags. And then we just need some like M80 ammo or... I think they moved M80 ammo to level four. Level four peacekeeper, which is actually kind of insane. Rep, we still need to get rep for Peacekeeper. Woods, Woods, Customs. Survive. We could look for Vertexes on Lighthouse too. We're going to get uh, markers done there. We need to do that one. All right, what is the next best ammo we can use? Well, we could go that, that. never use these ammo so look at the ammo chart real quick fmj has 35 pen that's our next best so fmj bcp fmj yep. so we'll buy i don't know 120 of them don't really get much of a choice do we i think we can so what we can do is we can tag this one like one two three tag um one two three tag We know that on actually those have the good ammo. For the best part that we know. And then that way at least we try and keep those mags until they're empty and then we go from there. Alright, uh meds, we just need We need an operating room key. Find that one key. Uh, you know what? I'm not. Because sometimes you can find Bitcoins on Lighthouse. And it'd be kind of sucky to get the Bitcoin and not be able to put it in your container. So let's go. Operating. Or maybe I have it. I've seen it. I do have it. Whoops. All right. Let's give it a go. Hopefully we'll have a bit of success. This is a pretty decent armor at least, so. We're gonna go in, hopefully stick away from any of the danger zones until they're a bit more cleared. And not just get insta-clap. I'm gonna try my best to avoid putting ourselves in a sticky situation straight away, but it's lighthouse, it's, it is what it is. Let's go to the evening. It might have a bit more success that way. Let's go. All right. So this could work to our favor. We are literally on the opposite side of the map of where we need to go, but we need to mark stuff along the way. And it could give opportunity for um, 
people to kill the rogues and us to slowly move over. So we're right near the southern, northern, northern, southern. We're not right near Southern Road. I think it's. I think it is. Extract. So we're going to mark a vehicle over here. Then we're going to come back around here and go up. The more we mark, the less we have to do on a future raid if we die. So we'll get it done. Get her done. One, ah, 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 my nine to go. I'm not going to go pick this because it leads to death quite often. Oh, I hurt my knee last night. You know, how, you know how you get, know you're getting old? It's when you're, you're laying in bed and you, and you hurt yourself. You're not even standing. You're just literally laying there. Like, I extended out my leg, and I, like, hyperextended my knee, and I've had knee pain since. Like, what the feck? How did someone do that? My body is just shutting down on me. Splint. But I heard something. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe we can beg for someone to give us a splint. Hello, do you have a splint? I broke my leg. Nikita, give us a splint. I'm with like a med box here. There's normally some meds to loot. Nothing. Where am I going to find a splint? Trying to think of all the spawns in the chalets. <sighs> Sugar cells are a lot on flea. Hmm. 
I broke my leg. Hmm. I don't know if we can get splinter knee med crates. I don't think you can. Ooh. Juicy. That actually might be a bit of foregrip. Oh, that's the lost contact stun. Wait. We have the splint. Oh, another one. Like they're preempting the next one. All right, so we don't actually have to go up there at all, so we might just avoid that. I feel like we would have heard someone running around though. We might be able to get a vertex. Hello? Anybody here? Mom. Dad. <gasps> My God. I love the fact that... Oh, what the heck? I love the fact that they're uh, shooting over there. I want to go over there and get the loots. Mark everything. Hmm. Coming out. Normally this door's uh, closed. Starts closed. So. Check here for another vertex. Oh. That vertex is actually kind of huge. Uh, it's a peacekeeper one. Lenley's. Getting two of them, it's 21,000 XP, but I think there's a follow-on quest to it as well. We have to go down this hill. Mark the vehicle. There's only like two vertex spawns over there. Honestly though, if you guys find a vertex, just get out, get two, and then worry about doing other quests.
So that's for the quest long road. Gotta get scab kills along that road. I didn't get a Marin key either. The guys are still up. But the 50 cal guys. Another one up here. I think it's the first one here that we need to go to. Got the briefcase. Sometimes there's like rollers and stuff on the on the uh, actual bed itself. I honestly think we should reset. We could go over and get the hermit thing done. And then that's everything on this side done. But also someone's also clearing it out. It's kind of nice to... Like we know someone's over there clearing it out. That's the Marin key there. Can have vertex to spawn in the back of it. Scav there. The problem with going over there this late is the player scav spawning in. It's what actually becomes the problem. Actually, have a vertex spawn up there too. Let on.
front. So I'm actually going to reset. I'm going around the back here. It would be nice to um to go mark some stuff. I'm confident that most of the rogues would already be dead, but at the same time, we have a vertex, and we also got the tough book and the hermit item. So we pretty much don't have to pick up anything specifically on this side of the map. So we can now just focus on going straight for the road camp. Which obviously is going to be spicy, because always players going over there. It's like, players just do it non-stop. They farm it. Easy money and XP. It's just too huge of a raid to risk. Woo! All right, we sported at like Northern Road. I think it's called Northern Road or Southern Checkpoint. Southern Road. Southern Road. We spawned in at, and then we just went around the edge of the map, just marking and picking up stuff as we went. Uh, we got four kills for Long Road as well, which is kind of cool. I think you need 15. But nothing overly crazy, which is good. So the cool thing is from here, we don't actually have to... Um, spend too much on the menu. It's got to make sure I don't miss anything. Therapist. We hand over the briefcase. Lost contact. Bam. Uh, this needs us to take a camera in. We've got 4 or 15 for long road. Marked. Got one of the vertexes. Mark two, that, those two. Heaps of marking to do still. Hermit. We didn't. What? 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 <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to do. Maybe I didn't go close enough to the thing. I needed to walk a little bit closer where I picked up the message from. That's kind of lame. All right, we can run past it. Not a big deal. All right. Oh, 82k XP. We can have a big one here and probably get that if we survive. Let's go again. Pop up the mags. Drop off some stuff. Oh, we need one... Um, we need one... Not a jammer, it's the other one. Camera. Cool. Let's do this. All right, we've kind of spawned kind of like an icky spot, really. We're like along the coastline, but we're more down towards the lighthouse. <clears throat> I'm just going to run straight along the coast. I'm going to try doing a back way into the, uh, into the water treatment plant. I haven't done it in ages, but if it works, at least that way I can, um... Get some of this stuff done. If someone's pissed someone off straight away. Well, the, you know, the rogues are being pissed off straight away. So in the next wipe, there's going to be the Lightkeeper services and you can ask Zorachi to help you and the rogues to help you. But I don't understand how that's going to work. Are you going to like pay them and the next multiple raids, they, they support you? The next few hours? Like how is it going to work? Because if you, if you run all the way out to the Lightkeeper, how's it? 
Yeah, I don't know. Unless you spawn right near him, the rogues aren't going to help you because you're not going to be over there in time. So you can only do this if you're a USAC. If you're a bear, no gore. No gore. Find the gun there. Find the gun there. Look, if you're a bear right now, you'd be dead. Just gotta remember how to do this bit spot. Cause I want to kill the guys at the front. It might be just as simple as killing him here. And there's a guy on a tower on the... Oof. We don't pick... We don't re-pick this. <laughs> he already had his, like, 50 cal pointed toward me, towards me, but he hadn't moved. We're gonna sneak through the back here. There is an angle, I just can't remember it. He's dead. We can get marking. Quite a bit to mark. Dude on the roof. And I'm just going to go inside. Get to the operating room, mark that. Cool, is that placed?
We know the armor's there if we need it. We should really loot a lot more. It sounded like that guy was on the outside, but I think... I actually think he was, um... On the roof. I'd like to focus on doing the markings first. <clears throat> so then we don't have to bring him back in and we don't have to go back there. Didn't want to get clapped from the side. The player scabs come in so quick. You got to be so quick with this. So, it's just a visual bug. I have marked them both. One of them's completed, obviously, and the other one's still, like, finishing. Do I go do the helicopter? A bit risky. But once it's done, it's done. The only major issue will be the... But, oh, I don't think it'll be a problem. Blocked. I got the other guy, so. I'm moving as fast as I can because player scabs are ferocious on this map. Let's go like that. Get a bit of hydration up. Next one is to get to over here. I'm dead. No! I'm guessing he was on the roof. I saw the guy on the 50 cal again. The one that I killed at the start. I'm well, not the very the third guy I killed. <sighs> that sucks. But I didn't get sh shot by a 50 old man. Not. He just sprayed me down. Five hits. It's such a laser beam. Five, technically six hits to the thorax. Oh well, helicopter got marked. The two at the front got marked. Operating room got marked. We got a fair bit done then. Right. A little bit of money. Not much though. Unfortunately for questing, anything we got done then we have to survive. So we'll have to do that.
Now the question is... Oh, that actually counted. There's a heap of broadcast tasks for streets. I locate the place of the bloody broadcast inside the grocery store. We might do that. So to do that, what do we need to do? Need a gun. Need a gun. Lots of gun. Need a marker for streets. Let's go with this. I'm happy to use this AK-101. Just need to put a side on it. Need a helmet and rig and contacts. Contacts. Helmet. Rig. And then we need these mags. Ammo. Pretty happy with that loadout. Six. Five. Grab a splint. And we need the streets keys. Cool, so we're gonna go for Beluga, the grocery store, and the last revision. And get out of a street trade. Let's go. All right, we have spawned near the uh, theater. Room. So, wait, did we mark this one? Did we mark this one? It, it's been marked here. Am I tripping? The last one we have is down there. Oh, no. I'm gonna cut through the middle of the map. I'm gonna probably go straight to where the revision task is and then from there, Go down to revision task. Go down to we would like to go to the grocery store. I'm just not sure if we're going to be able to. It's a really awkward spot from here. Should have expo extract. We do. We also still have the task to kill scabs over here. Pools open. See how I feel. If I feel like I could run straight there, but if Cabana's up, I'm dead because the guy will hit me with the AGS. So the idea is to go this way, do revision, and then if we feel like we can get across to the supermarket, we go across. If not, we can go to Beluga. Oh God! 
SKS guys are just brutal. I don't think that's at me. Let's get his arm fixed. Definitely not at me. I'm pretty sure that's the vehicle we need to mark. I think we just go beluga. I mean, revision's done. We can get beluga. This guy doesn't start there. It's not cave that fell. Oh, he got shot from down here. Fort marks are there. Not where I parked my car. Keep running, just keep running. Why was that so loud? Alright, this quest item, remember rightly, can spawn in here. In this room? Like a giant, bright vial. And then it's across the hall. Let me just double check. Yeah, there's five spawns. The, the back shelf of the meeting room, which is what we checked. It definitely wasn't here. Then right immediately after you enter the front door, then left into the corridor, the back left deck next to the phone. So this one here.
There's like the Terror Group Armory Key or something, which is in the corner just opposite me right now. It's actually got um, like M4 spawns and stuff. It's actually not a bad key to have. That door there. Tyler, that elevator. All right. I didn't know you could open this door. I didn't know there was anything in here. This room, actually, that we're about to go to can have good loot in it. The file there. Backmost cubicle next to the PC. Oh. And the meeting room at the black back right. There it is. Good old wiki. Hard to remember all the spawns when there's five random spawns. All right, we can go style about or we can go expo. Go style about. Pretty sure we just got to go down here. Take a left. We can go down here. Through this. No, we want to go up. Through this one. Then we go right. Bit confusing, I'm sure, if you were trying to follow. Oh my god! Ah! Why? Oh my god. make no noise. <laughs> what was it doing? That's the weirdest place to be sitting. I couldn't even shoot fast enough because of, I was still in the breaching animation when I saw him. Like you, you do the breach and then it's like. <sighs> oh well, GG. You got to go full ninja at the moment. I feel like there's no one running. He hadn't killed us. I had no, I didn't hear a single shot in the building. I suppose everyone's suppressed. That's probably it. Everyone's suppressed. But you don't really hear them shooting all the scabs. I don't know. It is what it is. We spawned in. We ran across the map. We marked the revision. And then we went to find Beyond Meat and died. That's, that, that is everything. We're good. We're Gucci. We've made a bit of money. We've got some questing done. We, uh, we need to survive the streets to get the revision done for the streets. And we didn't go over and do the blood thing. So, do that another time. But that is the end of this episode. Uh, to reiterate, apologies for the delay in all the episodes and all that. Um, the combination of finishing the 50-day subathon and having to do, do live stuff for a bit. Because um, when you just do 
nothing but play video games for 50 days straight. Life keeps moving and you don't. You have to do stuff. Um, and then I spent some time with my wife, went on a little bit of a holiday with my wife and daughter, and then I've been sick. This is, I'm, I'm still sick at the moment. I was sick last month after the subathon, and I'm sick now. So it's just, I don't know. I never get sick until about three, four months ago, and now I just can't. It's the same thing every time. I've got some flu thing. And no, it's not COVID. I did the test. But yeah, long-winded in outro, but appreciate you guys sticking around if you are watching this stuff, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I'll try and film as many episodes as I can as like when I get time. The Creators Uncut should be announced by now. So I've spent this whole weekend working on that. The studio is looking schmick. We've done so many improvements. Put new camera, camera ports in everywhere and it's going to be sick. Should have about 15 cameras, I think, by the end of it. It's going to be nuts. Anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, make sure you like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already. If gotten to this point, please do. And much love. Stay safe. And lastly, oh, wait, I haven't said this last time either. Say hi to your mum for me. Lastly, I'll see you next time.